أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Mediation Analysis Using AMOS IBM SPSS AMOS Series This is a two-part lecture. This is the second session of Mediation Analysis Using AMOS in which I'm going to practically discuss how to run Mediation Analysis in AMOS. Now how do we test mediation? The research by Barron and Kenny in 1986 was one of the fundamental frameworks for how to test mediation. Over the years, research has refined their initial work on testing mediation. Now what are the criticisms on Barron and Kenny approach? The first is, the Barron and Kenny method was based on finding the unstandardized coefficients for each relationship and then determining significance using Sobel test. As the research has progressed, this method of testing mediation has changed and Sobel testing has been rejected as a valid means of testing mediation. The revised method is now concerned with assessing the indirect effect by examining the product of A path and the B path while controlling for the direct effect of the C path. Now since the Sobel test is flawed for this type of test, the more accepted approach in mediation testing is to use a bootstrap technique to determine significance. A bootstrap technique treats your data sample like a pseudo population and takes a random sample with a replacement to determine if your indirect effect falls within the confidence interval. So what you are doing is you are actually treating your whole sample as a new population whereby through random number generation that particular sample is used to generate another sample maybe 5000, 10,000, 1000 or any number of bootstrap samples are generated. So your normal recommendation is 5000. Let's look at an example in AMOS of a mediation test. Using the full structure model example, we want to examine if the construct of authentic leadership has an indirect effect through self-efficacy to the construct of life satisfaction. So your mediator is self-efficacy. Your IV is authentic leadership and your DV is life satisfaction. Notice that I am including a direct path from authentic leadership to life satisfaction. This will allow to see what type of mediation is actually present in the analysis. Here, so there is a direct path which is C complement and then there are the indirect paths from authentic leadership to self-efficacy, from self-efficacy to life satisfaction. This is path A, this is path B and this is path C complement. Without the presence of self-efficacy, this would have been just C. So how do we run this in AMOS? The first thing that we are going to do is, this is the model that we want to check mediation in. So now this was the CFA for the variables or the constructs. Now let's sort it out. Let's put, we need to preserve the symmetries. So let's move it now. Let's move it here. Let's move your mediation here. Let's move your DV here. Let's move our indicators on top. This one on the right. Let's move it here. Now we do not need to co-vary them in this case. We need to remove this. We need to remove this. We need to remove this here. Now let's draw the arrows. The direct effect from your IV to your DV, your path A and your path B. Now, as we know, these endogenous variable must have an error term with them. So we click here and then we click here and click here. Now let's rename our unobserved variables at plugins name unobserved variables. Let's arrange these unobserved variables here. This one is fine. Let's use, let's brush it up. Now this looks good. This is your IV. This is your MV. This is your DV. Now what we need to do is we need to go to analysis properties. And here from the output, we need to select this here, indirect, direct and total effects. Make sure you have selected this. The next step, go to bootstrap and you have to perform bootstrap and make sure you have selected bias corrected confidence interval. So perform bootstrap click bias corrected confidence interval. In this case, we are going to have the confidence interval of 95 as used in social sciences. 
The recommended bootstrap sample is 5000. However, in this case, since we are just doing it for the sake of the example, I'm just going to keep it to 200 so we can have our results a bit quicker. Now let's run this analysis, calculate estimates. And here are our results. Now, how do we interpret these results? Go to your vtext and here is your output. Now go to estimates, scalars. Click on scalars and you will have your regression weights, standardized regression weights and other details. Go to matrices, click here and here you will have your total effects, your direct effects, your indirect effects. Now in this case, we are going to look into the unstandardized direct and indirect effects. So if you go to matrices within the estimates, you will have these details and you can obviously let's say we are interested in indirect effects for now. And now this is all active. So this is your lower bound, upper bound confidence interval and two tail significance. These are your estimates, the indirect effects. Now, how do we interpret these? Let's get back here and I've got the interpretation here for all of them. Just to be sure, in order to get to these estimates, what you need to do is you need to go to estimates and from scalars and matrices, you can have all these estimates. Now, in order to make sure that your estimates and bootstraps are active, make sure you go into matrices and then see this is inactive. So what you need to do is let's go to indirect effects. Now this is active and now you can use these results. How to interpret these results? Let's go back. So make sure you have changed your analysis properties and you have selected the indirect, direct and total effects from the output window in the analysis properties. The next step is make sure you've got the right bootstrap properties. In this case, obviously you will need 5000 bootstrap samples and 95% confidence interval. This tab here is right next to the output tab in analysis properties. Now, how do we analyze the results? Let's look at the output to determine if the mediation is present. In the estimates link, you want to select matrices link. This will let you see the total effects, direct effects and indirect effects for each relationship in the model. We want to select the indirect effects. So the first thing that you do when you are checking mediation through bootstrapping, you need to go to indirect effects. Amos will actually give you the option to select or examine unstandardized or standardized indirect effect. With most mediation analysis, you will see the unstandardized indirect effect reported. If you are looking to compare indirect effects within the model, you could easily do this with standardized indirect effects, but normally the unstandardized indirect effects are reported. In the indirect effects tab, you will see all the possible indirect effects in your model. We are concerned only with the relationship of authentic leadership to life satisfaction through self-efficacy because our mediator is self-efficacy. You will see all kind of indirect effects that are possible, but you will always obviously look into what is your intention or what are your mediators. In our model, we have only one possible mediator that is from authentic leadership to life satisfaction. So the indirect effect listed must be through the mediator self-efficacy. If you have got more than one mediator, obviously this will be discussed in another tutorial. So where is your indirect effect? Have a look here. So if you collect or click matrices, Within matrices, you will see indirect effects. Now, when you click indirect effects, obviously you will see the estimates here. So what is this? This is the indirect effect, the effect of authentic leadership on life satisfaction through self-efficacy. In this particular example, our IV is authentic leadership, our DV is life satisfaction, our MV is self-efficacy. Now in this case, this is your total indirect effect or you can also call it specific indirect effect. So the effect from your IV to your DV through your mediator is this. Now in this case, since we have got only one mediator, so this is the specific indirect effect as well. That is the total effect passing from IV to DV through your single mediator. 
Now, if we had multiple mediator, this would have been referred to as the total effect of IV to DV through those multiple mediators. Now, in that case, if we needed to assess the mediating role of each of the variable or each of the mediating variable, we would have to calculate their significance. How to do this? We are going to look into that in detail in our next video. Now when we run this model, we get these path coefficients. Now this is your direct effect. Why am I referring it to as direct effect? Because we've got the mediator in the model. Now this is your path A, this is your path B. A into B will give you the indirect effect. In summary, the first step is to look into this indirect effect. So our indirect effect is 0.268. We now know the indirect effect. But we still do not know if the indirect effect is significant and if it falls within the 25% confidence interval generated by our bootstrap. The indirect effect tab will give us an indirect effect but nothing else. So we now know the indirect effect but is the indirect effect significant? How do we know this? We need to go to the bootstrap analysis section to find the other information. On the left hand side in the box below, output links is a section called estimates bootstrap. Under the link will be another option called bias corrected confidence interval. So where is this option? So here is this option. If you go to matrices, indirect effects. Now previously we selected estimates to get the indirect effect. Now we need our confidence interval. Lower bound and upper bound bias corrected confidence interval. So we can get this from here. So if you select indirect effects, then you can select here bias corrected percentile method, bias corrected percentile method. Now these are the results from the bias corrected percentile link method here. It will first present the lower bound indirect effects and then the upper bound indirect effects. Now these are the lower bound bias corrected confidence interval and this is the upper bound. Now look at it here. Authentic leadership to life satisfaction. The lower bound effect is 1%. 0.188. What's the upper bound? It's 0.346. Now how do we interpret it? We'll, we are going to look into it in a minute. With our indirect test of authentic leadership to life satisfaction through self-efficacy, the lower bound confidence is 0.188 as we look here and the upper bound is 0.346 as we look here. So we already know our indirect effect that was 0.268 which we actually got by selecting indirect effects from matrices and estimates here. Now is that effect significant? Now let's look into that. Since there is no zero in between, now is there a zero between 0.188 to 0.346? No, there is no zero in between. So this means that your specific indirect effect was significant. This means that there is a certain mediation present. Whether partial, whether full, we are going to look into this later. But now we can show that there is an indirect effect of authentic leadership on life satisfaction through self-efficacy. Why? Because there is no zero in between 0.188 and 0.346. 0.188 is your lower bound bias corrected confidence interval, whereas 0.346 is your upper bound bias corrected confidence interval. So how do we interpret the results? Let's move on. The values of 0 0.015. Now what is this? This is your p-value. p-value for the indirect effect from authentic leadership to life satisfaction through self-efficacy is 0 0.015. This is less than 0 0.05. So we can say, yes, the specific indirect effect is significant. Hence, we can conclude that self-efficacy mediates the relationship between authentic leadership and life satisfaction. So look at this, your lower bound estimate 0.188, your upper bound estimate 0.346 and your direct effect. This is the direct effect because in the regression weights you are getting the direct effect which is 0.197. Now the indirect effect multiplying a into B. So what is your A? Your IV, authentic leadership, influencing your mediating variable. This is 0.584. This is 0.454. And what is your B? 0 
the impact of mediator on dv so a multiplied by b is your indirect effect the indirect effect of authentic leadership to life satisfaction is 0.268 so if you multiply this you are going to get 0.268 now this indirect effect is actually significant. Why? Because there is no zero in between the lower bound estimate and the upper bound estimate. And we saw the significance level as well. That was 0 0.015. Next, let's look at the same output for confidence interval generated by our bootstrap. The lower bound is 0.188, upper bound is 0.346 and they do not have a zero in between. So we can say our indirect effect is significant. And whether it's a full mediation or partial mediation, let's look at this direct effect. This is the effect in presence of the mediator, the impact of IV on DV in presence of the mediator. Why am I saying that it is in presence of the mediator? Because look here, in the model, the mediator is present. Now, this is now referred to as the direct effect. If this is significant, you will say, you have a partial mediation because your indirect effect is also significant and your direct effect is significant as well. So both your direct and indirect effects are significant. So you are going to say this is a partial mediation. If this would have been insignificant, we would have said complete mediation because then the whole effect of IV on DV would have been passing through the mediator. We can see that authentic leadership has a significant relationship to life satisfaction here. This means that the influence of authentic leadership on life satisfaction is partially mediated through self-efficacy. Now, how do we report these mediation results? This is the table that we can use. We are going to report the direct effect, indirect effect, the confidence intervals, the p-value and the conclusion. So here is the text that one can use to report mediation analysis. First, what you are going to do is you are going to show or you are going to write about what is the mediating role that you are assessing? What is the mediating variable? Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to reveal your specific indirect effect. And then obviously you are going to check whether the direct effect is significant or not. If it was, then you are going to mention that the results were partially mediated. If the direct effect in presence of the mediator was insignificant, for example, assume this was P is equal to 0.111, then we would have said hence self-efficacy fully mediates the relationship between authentic leadership and life satisfaction. Now, if you want to know more about mediation and other techniques in AMOS, this is a very good read. Thank you very much.